So I just asked an AI model in LM Studio to summarize this article. And then it is able to use a browser, navigate to the URL, and then summarize the content for me. So this is just one example of the use of MCP. And in particular, I'm using an MCP server called Browser MCP. Well, this is basically just using a browser on my computer, and then AI is navigating or using that browser on my behalf. It is actually very interesting because that means you can chat with a local AI model in LM Studio to do a lot of things like summarizing article or perhaps automated web scrapping you can also use it to getting some information from google because ai can actually navigate to the web so basically it is almost like an online ai model but it is running locally on your computer so let me show you how you can set up the mcp server using browser mcp on lm studio so of course the first thing that you need to do is you have to download and install lm studio on your, on your computer this is just uh, one of the best tool if you want to run some open source local AI models on your computer now after that you can navigate to node.js.org and you have to download this program and install it on your computer this is a component that allows the mcp the browser mcp to be able to run for lm studio basically just click this button and then install the program like any other application for your computer there are actually plenty of videos on how you can install this program it's up to you if you want to uh, check youtube and get some full length tutorial on how you can uh, download and install this program but what i can say is it is just like installing any other program on your computer now after that, we have to open LM Studio and you have to download a model that has a feature called tool calling. So that basically means the model can use MCP and it can do it automatically when it is necessary. So let me click this download button or sorry, the search button, the discover button basically. And you have to download a model that has this hammer icon and that means the model can use a tool calling feature now if you want to download a model from hugging face there are a lot of models that do have tool calling but they usually uh don't have the label like that they don't have the label well, let me try it. let's say Gemma. there are many models from Gemma that do have the a tool calling feature but if you download them from the hugging face from here there, there is no label about tool calling whatsoever that doesn't mean the model doesn't have tool calling it's just uh, the model is not being labeled by elm studio to have tool calling so i i do recommend to just uh, check the model and see what is the information about whether or not the model do have the tool calling capability now in this case i will just use a model called quen3 it is quite a small model and i will just download the one that was recommended from LM Studio. Now, let me try using Quen3 with 1.7 billion parameter. It is quite small. Honestly, I can use something a bit bigger, but I just like the model because this model is quite consistent. It is small and just enough if you just want to use or have an AI model that can be used to get some information on the web. Now, I'm going to use the 6 bit quantization it is apparently the most recommended option according to lm studio so i'll use that model now i'm going to click the download button and i will have to wait until the model is downloaded and later i'll show you the next step that you can do okay so the model has been downloaded and i'm going to click this button to load the model to lm studio and i will send a simple message like hi there this is just to make sure that the model can run normally on my computer. Now, that's a good sign. So before I show you how you can set up Browse MCP with LM Studio, there are a few things that I'm going to change to this model so it can perform a bit better and more consistent when using the tool calling feature. So let's navigate to my models. Click this gear icon on the model that you're using. And then I'm going to increase the context length to be around 16,000 minimum. And I will also specify a system prompt for this model. This is going to be the system prompt that I'm going to use, but feel free to use a different one. And by the way, if you are interested, I'll put a this system prompt in the description down below. Now I'm going to just paste it right here. And lastly, I'm going to reduce the temperature to be around 0.5, so the model is becoming a bit more deterministic. Now I'm going to close this, 
let me just go back and i guess i'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see everything now we are ready to set up browse mcp with lm studio so let me just open google chrome again visit chromewebstore.google.com and then search using the keyword browser mcp hit enter click this option click add uh, sorry add to chrome and click add extension just wait for uh, this extension to be installed on the browser you'll see this welcome message now i'm going to click extensions right here click pin on browse mcp and i will click this option click manage extension and i'm going to enable a setting called allow in incognito this is not strictly necessary but in some models you might want to enable this option so the model can operate or uh, use the tool from browse mcp okay i'm going to close this and you can click get started okay sometimes you'll see this message but it is not your fault it's just there's something wrong with their website so we can ignore it click set up mcp server okay it's not opening for some reason okay there you go okay you have to copy this and you have to paste that code to the json file in lm studio open lm studio and click range icon right here click programs click install click edit mcp.json got it delete this one and replace it with the new code click save and just wait for the mcp to be initialized okay you can enable it and also i do recommend to make sure that you allow all tools to be used by the model and lastly i will pin this to the chat input so when you're chatting with an AI model in lm studio you'll see this quick option to enable or disable the mcp from browse mcp anyway let me just go back to the browser because we're not done yet click setup extension okay it says that it is recommended to pin the extension we already have done that and here you can just connect the mcp server okay i'm going to open a new tab i'm going to click this and click connect and i'm going to close this so right now the status is connected and here according to a browse mcp you might want to send a message like go to google and search for browse mcp this is just to make sure that the uh, model is able to use the tools from browse mcp via the browser i'm going to send uh, this message to lm studio i guess let me start a new chat and send sorry paste the message click browse mcp and i'm guess i'm going to just uh, minimize it so as you can see uh, it's still connected everything looks right and now i'm going to send the message so it will open google and then later it's going to use the uh, appropriate tool based on the instruction okay that's a good sign it is opening google it is navigating to the web still need to do one more thing which is searching using the keyword browse mcp okay this is actually another attempt and as you can see now it is able to perform the task it is able to go to google and then search using the keyword browse mcp and then show me this result so yeah that's basically how you can set up the mcp server from browse mcp with lm studio thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video i wish you a great day ahead